Yo, what's up, guys? It's the Mobile Gamer. Welcome back to episode three of Fast Fantasy Analysis and Suggestions for Trades, powered by Yahoo Sports. I'm your host, Mobile Energy Gamer here. Anyways, super sorry for not uploading recently. And uh, hopefully, um, you guys, you know, I'm super packed. Anyways, gonna be uploading a decent amount of bit because there's some good stuff going on in Mad Mobile. But we gotta uh, presume with this um fantasy football series. Anyways, we had some pretty sweet upsets. I um I was projected to win at 90 uh i projected to score 92 and um he had projected 112 and somehow i pulled off the win 122 to 117 some notable things to take away from this game matt moore sucks alshon jeffrey is on the uh up i guess if you haven't picked up Derek mckinnon it looks like he's in most leagues but there's still eight percent of leagues that hasn't taken him you guys are missing out i think he had one bad game like that he had a 5-1 game but he's been doing super solid for me definitely go pick him up if you haven't yet uh, also, with Dan Bailey being out, if you haven't picked up this guy, Mike Nungeon, it looks like most leagues don't have him. Yeah, Cowboys just score a lot. Even with Elliott out, they're still going to find a ways to score. Um, I think, especially uh, Kareem Hunt, he is starting to decline. Uh, I know a lot of leagues have him, but look, 40, 22, 24, 12, 11, 11, 11, 6. He's been on a decline. Dallas defense sucks. If you have the opportunity try to trade with someone for this guy i think you'll find you'll be very happy also looks like this guy kamara uh looks like many people own him but yeah always scores solid points um i yeah oh yeah wolf fuller oh my god anyone on the houston's man wolf fuller knows how to play uh if we go to players oh one thing i'd like to point out is um i just heard about um this is guy josh gordon i think gordon yeah so he um he was like suspended from the NFL for like uh, drugs or whatever. He's getting reinstated. This guy used to always go off. I remember when he had like 200 yard games. Now's the time to pick him up. 23% of people are already picking him up, even though uh, he's not. He, he um, potentially uh, he will uh, come back. It looks like actually, but yeah. Oh my God, that's gonna be a steal if he can return to his you know previous uh, like how good he was. Uh, cause you know, we don't care about what you do outside the game. We just care about the points. If you need a quarterback, um, CJ Bittard, he's not doing too bad. You know, like people kind of clown him, but he always scores double digits. And honestly, that's better than half my quarterbacks. I had Carson Palmer until he like broke his wrist. Drew Stanton, uh, in my opinion, I really do not expect to see too much. From Ooh, actually, maybe this week only cause of San Francisco, if you really need someone. I'm pretty sure Jimmy Garoppolo is not gonna play. Yeah, probably. Unless, of course, Bet Betard. I don't know how you say that. It like sucks. Oh, uh, I also picked up a uh, running back. Let's let's see it. Yeldon. Pretty solid. Uh, TJ Yeldon. Um, if it'll load. Yeah. Um, it seems like he's coming off a big game. So I'm hoping he'll carry that in. Yeah, 19 points. So I'm hoping that he takes over. Um, what Chris Ivory or whatever the dude's name is for um running back position uh let's see what else is going on around the league i'm just gonna go in transactions there's one first oh yeah right of course so as you know jhi if you don't know jhi got traded to the eagles so now um this guy kenyan drake oh my gosh i'm pretty sure in madden mobile he's a beast that's why i know him look at that plus 30 percent of people decide to pick this dude up because he's gonna be starting running back and he's gonna you know probably go off because you know he's the main running back i guess um so i already covered kickers and stuff tight end if you guys got any idea of a tight end that's like decent hit me up because i'm in need of a tight end uh evan ingram it, right now i actually dropped this guy and i feel kind of bad because look at that he's with obj and all of them getting out you know evan ingram's on the up uh oh and um speaking of giants sterling shepherd uh he's gonna be in my opinion one of the main uh one of the he's gonna have to be one of the main wide receivers just because um you know obj brendan marshall they're all out uh yeah same i just like to scout the people that are injury reserved i know it seems kind of counterintuitive because this guy danny hooded might not play until week 11 but just keep him on your bench because there's gonna be more demand when he actually gets healthy and stuff 
I might do that with Greg Olson. Let's see if we can pull it up. Yeah, he like broke his foot, but he will come back. I don't know. I think it's a little too early. I can't waste the roster spot, honestly. Because right now, um, my bench is harboring people that I usually start. I am I have Jay Cutler just because if Eli Manning sucks, which he has no receiver, so he might as well suck. Um, Le'Veon Bell and Jack Quicken both have buys. Uh, New Orleans defense is alright, but I'm putting Green Bay defense in. Uh, my matchup's not looking too bad. Um, oh yeah, sorry, I already said trade for a Kareem Hunt. Make sure, try to get, I think there's still value in Elliott, even though he's not going to be uh, back until, like, by the time playoffs ro rolls around. Uh, like, playoffs as in fantasy playoffs. You could still get some decent trades from him, because people might think he's good. I have no idea. Uh, who else might be good, but is on the freaking, uh, waivers list. Let's see. Yeah, those are the main people. I can't really think of too many other people. Rod Smith might be also a good option with Elliott out. Uh, we'll definitely see about that this week. It looks like Alfred Morris is going to be the main back. Because he has more projected. Um, Kittle, Lacey, Lambeau. Yeah, kickers, you know. Uh, defenses? Oh, wow, there's only two available defenses. Are you serious? Indiana defense sucks, really. And they're playing Houston. Oh, yeah, they're done for. Um, honestly, though, like, my defense has been kind of trash. Uh, let's see what's going on in the league. I think I'm ranked 7 and looks like top 8 make it to the playoffs. Um, yeah, I'm ranked 7, so I got this guy bathing apes below me. Uh, there's Ian, Peter, Jackson, Kang. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Okay, so who's 6? So, this person, Cassandra, is 5-3 and three, and I'm 4-4. Four and four. So, if they lose, I win. Let's see who they're playing. Just kind of scout out the team. Oh, yeah. Look at that. This person seems kind of lazy. Oh, my... Wow, rip their team this week. They might as well just take the L. Goskowski, White, Crowd, Jalissi, Benjamin, and Roethlisberger. That's the result of bad drafting. If you're um, if you're interested in playing fantasy like next week or something, or no, not next week, next year, make sure you see when people's bye weeks are, because you don't want to end up with half your starters being benched. I almost had that problem, but luckily, I don't know. Why I say luckily, but luck, <laughs> luckily my quarterback got injured and uh, my running back sucks, so I dropped them. So that was no problem. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much all the tips and tricks I have. Trade for Kareem Hunt, um, Deshaun Watson. Nah, whoever's Deshaun Watson's definitely not giving them up. I'm trying to think of any other like players you might want to look out for. Uh, I can't really think of any. These Vikings receivers. Who? Who knows why? But look at Tylen, Tylen. I don't know how do you say this. He, he he puts up some decent numbers, but and also Stefan Diggs, also Dalvin Cook when he was healthy, but now of course he's not, which is why I have Jerick and Kinnon. Um, Stefan Diggs looks like oh yeah he had he had 29 point game. Good lord. Yep, seems about right. I'm just, gonna, I'm just scouting the teams really quick, see if there's anything interesting. If this guy Jacoby Brissett. He's a decent quarterback, definitely. Yeah, he's had some nice games. I should probably should have picked him up. Chris Thompson also. Who knows why, but he has a tendency to, like, either suck or go off. Like, look at the first three games. Pretty solid. And then he's had some solid games, but not every now and then it seems like he doesn't have good games. So, also look out for that. I'm just trying to, you know, scroll around, see we got on Jake's team. Uh, Alright, so... I'm probably going to start a new thing where I kind of predict all the games in my league. So, for my game, realistically, Football Freaks is going to win. I mean, uh, like Todd Gurley, AJ Green, Matt Ryan. Man, they are stacked. Uh, I don't have... Most of my overperformers are benched, Bell and McKinnon. So, that's going to suck. Whoops, what did I just do? Alright, so then, if we get on the line, Jake's team versus Coastline Crusaders. Coastline Crusaders, uh, aka your boy Jackson. Uh, I think he's going to win Dak Prescott. You know, always scores good. That's also the Chiefs. Philadelphia defense, they will score a bunch. Uh, also, Denver sucks because Simeon. Uh, where are we at? Yeah, Ian's team is definitely going to win. Uh, I think Ken is a bathing ape. Has got this one in the back. I'm not just saying the people type percentage. I really do think that. Uh, like, Brandon's team seems to, like, underperform quite a lot. This one, I'm going to take the upset. Kang, guy on the left, is going to win. Just because no one likes you, Joseph. Um, t -t 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 let's see. Yeah, Vro's got this. That's uh, Peter, I think. Sean Watson always overperforms. Jeff Slangy underperforms, but 
Kareem Hunt, I think he'll bounce back. Jake Elliott always scores some solid points. Um, I think Nick's got this. That's Golden Aztecas. Uh, let's see. I mean, even though he has two of his players on by, wow. I mean, he has people that could potentially go off, so. And House of Pain to round out the lineup, because no one likes you, James, either. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, this guy on the left, he decided to draft all Italian players. So he has people like Tevecchio and uh, Flacco and Fasano. Fortunately, Italian players suck, so you gotta put in some black dudes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you like this video, and you want to see more videos like it. If you like this sort of podcast thing, where you can just sit back and relax, then drop a, uh, drop a like, I guess. Comment down below. Go subscribe, go uh, like. I will be posting Mad Mobile videos. Don't think that this is all I'm posting. Anyways, thank you all uh, for watching, and I'll see you all next video.